Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Cosmic Culture. At long last, the Venom trailer is here, and in today's video, we're going to break down the trailer, talk a little bit about the movie and expectations, and a theory that I have moving forward for this universe, where Venom currently resides. A lot of exciting stuff, but be sure to let me know what you thought about this trailer and how excited you are for this movie to come out in the comic section down below. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel as we're covering major movie and television news daily, and for your chance to win a Marvel Legends Stormbreaker, all you need to do to enter the giveaway is subscribe to this channel and subscribe to the Cosmic Warren. We're picking a random comment for the winner, so good luck. So the beginning of the trailer opens up with this almost comedic scene where we see Venom has well adapted his life living with Eddie Brock, but Eddie Brock doesn't seem so sure he's enjoying life with Venom. He constantly hears what he's saying, and Venom seems to constantly do whatever it is he feels like, but we can see that there are signs on the wall that say don't eat people, and Venom is at least trying to be amenable with Eddie by making him breakfast and doing other things, even though it's probably still not a perfect system, and we see that as he explodes the ketchup all over Eddie and Eddie just sighs knowing there's really nothing he can do about it. We then see Venom and Eddie walk into Mrs. Chen's shop and she says hi to Eddie and hi to Venom but we also later find out at the end of the trailer that they're actually protecting Mrs. Chen which we also saw in the first Venom movie so that's built over and it'd be interesting to see how that it plays into the movie at all if this is like their headquarters or they're hiding out somewhere within the shop behind the shop somewhere or if that's just a cool little added piece that was brought back from the first film. We then get some dialogue from Cletus Cassidy, who will be Carnage in this film, and we definitely get a good first and second look at this character, so stay tuned for that. Because they did a fantastic job with Carnage. I'm very excited to see Carnage and Venom go toe-to-toe, -to -toe, and to see some really awesome fight scenes between the two of them. But Cletus goes into this dialogue where he's talking about how he's been thinking about Eddie, stating that because the two of them are the same. This seems to be some time after the original meeting that they had at the end of the first movie. We can see his hair has changed, which is a good thing, and we can see that there is kind of an acquaintance between these two characters. Now, whether they have communicated since or they had one little interview and Cletus became obsessed recognizing that Venom was a part of Eddie Brock, or at least that something was off about Eddie, and then obsessing over the possibility of getting his own Venom, which will end up being Carnage. We see that there are tests on him in this film that seem like maybe he's actually getting the death penalty performed on him, and either this is when he ends up pairing with Carnage, or he was already paired with Carnage, and them trying to kill him causes Carnage to escape with Cletus Cassidy in order to save his own life. At some point, we see an officer reading the Daily Bugle, talking about Cletus Cassidy saying his secret victims. This is very, very important to me, and I'll explain why in just a second here, but I do think that this is a very telling piece of information about the future of Venom, and even including the MCU. Now, although at no point during the trailer do we see Venom and Carnage share a scene, we do get two extremely good looks of Carnage in full Carnage form. Now, both of these just give us a really good, clean look at the character, and he looks absolutely fantastic, crazy terrifying, and relatively well comic created, especially since Venom is much bigger than Carnage in the comics, and that still kind of shows here Carnage is really skinny. We also get a few good looks at Carnage doing things, ripping open doors, pulling cars apart, and causing problems. This is going to be one very crazy character, and even though we know how Venom is and his characteristics, Carnage is going to be even further off the edge, and the fact that he's paired with Cletus Cassidy shows that there's going to be a very interesting relationship between man and creature. Because we know that Eddie doesn't want to kill people, doesn't want to cause problems, and doesn't want Venom to completely take over. Whereas Cletus is probably going to embrace the power and let Carnage run rampage through the city and through his own mind. We do see Amy and Brock having dinner here. They are relatively separated. I'd be curious to see if she plays an important role moving forward. We did see her 
get taken over by Venom at some point in the first one, and I know a lot of fans would love to see that happen again. Although I will say it's unclear as to how important her role will be moving forward, because in the first one she kind of played the love interest that Eddie wanted back, and he wanted to prove himself right and that he wasn't lying, so it was a good motivation, and I don't know if she'll have a huge role moving forward, but here she is in the trailer, so definitely going to have something to do in the second movie, and maybe she will become a big character moving forward. And this brings me back to what I wanted to talk about with the Daily Bugle and this little scene here where they kill a spider. Now for me this is a very telling scene, it definitely connects Spider-Man because why would you show him killing a spider? And they're just trying to get us excited over nothing, but it does seem like a very specific detail to add into a trailer. Now we know that Marvel and Sony and these companies keep messing with us as fans, trying to get us excited, but we also know the multiverse Spider-Man movie might be coming to the MCU at the end of this year. We also know that this universe, the Marvel Universe, the MCU, where Tom Holland's Spider-Man resides, is not necessarily or confirmed or even close to being confirmed to be the same universe where Eddie Brock and Venom currently reside. And if you look at this Daily Bugle, it is the exact same logo and setup and appearance of that that exists in the Sam Raimi Spider-Man. And my first initial thought was, well, this must be the same universe that Sam Raimi Spider-Man is in. If you think about the Morbius trailer, there is Sam Raimi Spider-Man on the wall with Murderer written on it. And I believe that those two movies, the Venom movie and the Morbius movie, will be taking place in the same universe. So it's very curious to me, all of these different factors, but that also is seemingly debunked when you think about Spider-Man 3 already having an Eddie Brock and a Venom, which looks nothing like this Venom, and they play very very different roles so that definitely gets kind of confusing but it's possible that they are trying to set up different universes for the convergence of the spider-men moving forward if this spider-man multiverse movie actually is happening with all of our favorite spider-man characters now i know what you're thinking it's not necessarily true and there's no official confirmation that we should be expecting a spider-man multiverse movie a spider-verse movie tom holland denied it andrew garfield's denied it nobody has any definite proof and i get that and i agree with you but i think most people are leaning towards that this is going to happen it definitely seems like it and there is a lot of overwhelming evidence that we should get a little bit excited for the possibility of a Spider-Verse movie and seeing the Daily Bugle logo that matches that of Sam Raimi along with Sam Raimi Spider-Man in the Morbius trailer and all of the other little connections like them smashing a spider very intentionally in the trailer makes you wonder what connections there are going to be moving forward in this universe. If they're trying to get Tom Holland involved, if they're trying to get a different Spider-Man involved, we know in the original Venom that they wanted a Peter Parker appearance from Tom Holland, but Disney denied that. And we also know that since then they did have that huge falling out, and then this big huge coming back together where different plans and directions were met to appease both Sony and Disney. And Tom Holland, from the words of Kevin Feige, is the only character that can jump between universes. For me, this is a very particular and peculiar addition to the trailer. The Daily Bugle obviously was put there. The Spider were obviously put there. And the logo in the Daily Bugle doesn't match that which we saw in the MCU, but it does match that which we saw in the Sam Raimi Spider-Man. A lot of different pieces, and we don't have them all yet, but I am very curious. Let me know what you think about this, and let me know what you thought about the trailer, the first real look at Carnage, and all of this excitement buzzing around in the comment section down below. As always, thank you to everybody who watched to the very end of the video. If you found it helpful, useful, or entertaining, be sure to subscribe, and good luck at a chance of winning a Stormbreaker. Be subscribed to this channel and the Cosmic Wonders for your chance to win. We will see you in the next update right here on Cosmic Culture.